Yeah, Kelly and Michelle, good morning. And you can see there's still one truck out out here on scene of the second fire. Now where I'm standing, if I look down the street, I'd be able to see the flashing lights for where that other fire was here this morning. They were very, very close to each other. But we do want to bring you up to speed on what we know about both investigations so far out here this morning. This is a look at that first set of fires. These, these are three homes along the 400 block of Beltover Avenue. You can see the flames, thick smoke. Crews called to this fire shortly after 1.30 this morning. Public safety officials say two of the homes are a total loss and firefighters worked aggressively to try to save a third. We know that four adults lived in one of the homes. They are displaced by this fire, but the Red Cross is helping them this morning. Then just a short time later and just around the block on Estella Street in Freeland, another fire. Take a look at the mass of flames just consuming this home. Public safety officials tell us this home was vacant. You can see the trees in front of the home. They also caught on fire. We talked with a woman who lives right next to this house. She was home when that fire broke out. Take a listen to what she said this morning. And I jumped up and looked out the window and I saw all these red lights and people all in the street. And I said, what the heck's going on? And they were screaming, get out the house, get out the house, the house is on fire. And I'm like, what? Now that fire did spread close to her house. She said that her home suffered some water and smoke damage here this morning, but she said uh, she has not been able to go back inside just yet. She's getting some help from the Red Cross as well. In the meantime, public safety officials tell us that both of these fires are considered suspicious this morning. We know investigators have been out here on scene. Police have been out combing this area. There's no word on exactly what started the fires or why they believe they are suspicious. But as soon as we learn more about that investigation, we'll, of course, pass those details along to you. From another reporting live in Beltsuver, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.